decided to do it all month long. You'll see me live my life every day of June. So get ready to be bored, cause this is Floon. Hello everybody. So I'm wearing my Ballinger Family reverse tie-dye sweater that I did the other day. Um, my sister-in-law was asking what it looks like, and so now I can send her this video and be like, it's at the beginning. Check it out. If you want a sweater of theirs, you can go to their YouTube channel, and I'm sure it's all over their info box. I will say, of all the merch I've ever had from family or from myself, this is a soft mother effa. Like, this is very, very soft, and it's usually a very deep, dark purple. This is after I bleached it to make it look trendy. So I'm gonna buy another one that's just the plain purple, because it's really pretty. Anyway. I don't know why I just went off about that. Um, my mom left today, she was here for like, two nights, um, just hanging out and helping out with Flynn so that Eric and I could do other projects and get some work done. Today, right now, I am currently about to brine a couple chicken breasts because I'm cool like that. And that's how exciting my life is, is that the thing I feel that is necessary to report to hundreds of thousands of people is that I'm about to brine chicken. I feel like when quarantine's over and I go back to the real world and actually like see people, I'm gonna like explain to them how to brine chicken and recipes and they're gonna be like, why are you telling me this information? And they're like, this is all I've been talking about for months. Anyway, um, today I have therapy uh, with a new therapist. I'm really nervous about it and excited. I don't, I'll, I'll get into that later, it's boring. I'm gonna brine chicken because that's more interesting. Okay, bye. Eric's so cute, he made a squirrel house because Flynn loves those squirrels so much. He's like building stuff with his like big Duplo Lego thingies. And I was like, what is he doing? He didn't say what he was doing, and now I know what he's doing. He's making a house with squirrels. Wow, look at this. You got them. Yeah, is that for the squirrels? <laughs> yeah, that's for the squirrels. They can have some Nana. Should we go make another one? Let's go inside and make another one. Look, the squirrels ate our tree house. So he made them one. I mean, are they gonna eat the plastic? I hope not. More Nana? Should we get some more? Okay. Good job. Good job, Flynn. It's a squirrel, Flynn. It's a squirrel by the pool. He's gonna go see your house. Yes. He's coming for it. He's gonna go see your house. You wanna go out? Can you say can you say please? There he goes. He's going to his house. Do you see the squirrel? Okay, ready? Go get him. Oh, he jumped up the tree. Oh no, he ran away. Where'd he go? Hi guys, so therapy was good. First session's always like, it's like a first date. It's like just getting to know each other. It's not like gonna be like groundbreaking, but it was really good. She's lovely and wonderful and yeah. I don't have much to report other than it was good and I'm glad I'm going back to therapy. I got a package today. First of all, I got a package for my sister. <gasps> Flynn, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> Are you ready? <gasps> it says, the Young Rebels Studio. You wanna see what it is? <gasps> what did you do? I don't know. <gasps> Cool, look at these from Aunt Rachel. The little Black Lives Matter vans. These are so cute. My sister, I think her friend, maybe she just found an Etsy shop. Baby. This, you see the baby? Baby. Let's read. Baby. Okay, baby. Flynn's gonna vlog apparently. Baby. 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 From each pair sold, can I tell them about this please? Can I tell them about the Baby. shoes, Flynn? Flynn, can you come back? Baby. I want to tell them about the shoes. Flynn? from each pair, $75 will be divided among these charities. Baby. Fair fight to Stacey Abrams initiative to end voter suppression and ensure fair <laughs> elections. What? I'm trying to talk about something very important. And the, oh God. National Birth e 
uh, Equity Collaborative, creating solutions towards equity and maternal fetal care to prevent black infant and maternal mortality. Wow. And to Black Lives Matter. That is so cool. So um, Rachel bought these for Flynn. Oh look, and the heel says justice. So the heel says justice and the fronts look like this. These are so cute. So if you guys want a pair, not sponsored, not ad, it's just a sweet gift my sister gave me. She found this, it's called the Young Rebel Studio. Thank you for your purchase of these vans for the Gray Project. This is super cool. We decided on kids' shoes because kids are a chance for the best future possible. But studies have shown that conversation isn't enough in raising anti-racist children. We and they have to walk the walk. That's so cool! So thank you, my sister, and if you guys wanna go check them out, you can. Um, this is awesome. I'm so excited about this. And Eric's gonna be excited about the next thing we got. So a long time ago, I worked with a brand called Collie Power and we genuinely eat cauliflower a lot. So it was an exciting brand to work with. And this is not a sponsorship, this is not an ad. They just sent me another box, um, just to be nice. Love, did you hear that? We got another cauliflower box. No fucking way. No fucking way. <laughs> uh, I didn't know this was coming, it just showed up and Corey's like, are you doing another cauliflower like brand deal thing? And I was like, no. And it turns out they just sent it to me to be nice people. So I thought that was nice. It's good chicken, we do eat it all the time. Like. Oh, it's not chicken. <gasps> Rice! Let's find out. Oh, wow, paper. So yeah, they sent us some of their new, I guess, cauliflower rice? Cauliflower rice and everything nice, so I'm interested in trying. It was nice of them to send me that. Tonight, we are doing some tiki masala. I've never made tiki masala. I'm actually not a huge fan of tiki masala. It's like, it's good, it's fine, but it's like, I would never go out of my way to make it, but Eric really wants it, so we're gonna go for it. So I need to get started on that. Ooh, Gus wants in this box, y'all. Well, I never claimed to be an architect. You're not a good architect. I love you, love, but you're not a good architect. I'm trying, I was making it with my kid as he was trying to destroy it as I was making it. Where'd he go? Nana! Did he eat his nana? Who's the architect now? Still standing. What is happening? <laughs> what is going on? He just he turned on his bubble lawnmower. He started yelling and what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. It's totally... You are a cuckoo head. Camera? What? An angle from above. You're getting advanced. He can't book. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. No, no. You're gonna make him sick, Flynn, if you if you do it like that. It's gonna make him sick. Set it up over here for him, look. Oh, it's that time of day where my son is a screaming, nutty little boy. <laughs> Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Oh, thank you. <laughs> God. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh my god. Dramatic. Hello.
hello sorry my it's messy and there's things but um hi it's one in the morning and i didn't vlog anymore today i've kind of been in a funk since therapy and it's not because therapy wasn't good therapy was fine you know the first therapy session is weird because it's like a first date you have to like get to know each other before you can progress and do anything and um but you like touch on things I ask you a lot of questions about you and your past and things that could trigger things or things that could have been harmful or traumatizing to your heart or to your mind and your life just to like kind of get an idea of you and we didn't dive into anything it was not an emotional session it was just a get to know you session but just even talking about things from my past that were hard even though i just mentioned them and didn't go into them made my brain think about them and i am the type of person where i try to avoid any sort of painful or negative uh thing i just want everyone to be okay and i want everything to be happy and i don't want anyone to be upset and i don't want any problems ever and that's very me therapy while i love it is obviously it's challenging because you kind of have to open up wounds and kind of get into that wound a little bit and be like is there an infection in there is it gonna spread like is it causing other problems before you sew the wound up and so that's kind of what therapy is so it eventually is a very healing thing and it's a wonderful thing but sometimes it hurts a little bit first before you can do the healing today's session was not painful it was not emotional it was totally fine but you just touch on sub. i touched on subjects that I don't like to talk about because they're hard to talk about and painful. I think maybe just because they were brought up, I'm just feeling like funky, but I'm not quite sure. Like I couldn't, if you asked me why are you sad or what's wrong, I wouldn't really be able to explain it and I don't want to dive into that right now. Like I just want to be okay. And so instead of like thinking, I was like kind of laying on the ground in here and just like thinking and I was like getting sad and I was like, well, I don't want to be sad. And I just don't want to just lay here and think. So I'm just going to sing. So I started like singing and playing my ukulele, which I do a lot when I'm feeling funky. Um, and so I started kind of writing this little dumb ditty song thing and I thought I would play it for you guys. Um, it is extremely emo, but it's how I'm feeling right now. And it also is kind of how I feel anytime I'm sad is kind of what this song is. And the song's not done and it's, you know, I just wrote it like a little literal second ago, but I'm gonna move this a little bit. I'm gonna move you so that you can be closer to the lyrics, the lyrics. Don't ask me how I'm feeling, no, don't ask me if I'm okay. Cause I don't have the answers and I want it to stay that way. Don't ask me what I'm thinking, no, don't ask me what's wrong. I just want to pretend I'm happy. Hey, can you play along? Cause knowing what's wrong means acknowledging the pain and pain is something I just can't handle today. Let's pretend everything's fine and push the feelings away. Sorry, my baby just woke up. Gotta go, my baby woke up. 